at dusk in the harbour. Syrian migrants make a temporary home. Volunteers make sure the youngest get something to eat. Mayan is a 22-year-old student. We're just going to have a look inside one of the tents that the Syrians are using here in this park. Four people, sleep Four people sleep in this tent. As you can see. So there's a life jacket here yeah. from the boat journey. Have you talked to any European people here in Greece? Yeah, well, uh, some of them are friendly, actually. <laughs> yeah, some of them, but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, they see someone who they, who they don't know. So it's weird for them to get along with us. I wish him some time to die, believe me, very soon. Caricaturist Achilleas Bakalakos works right next to the migrants. They try to do their best to survive, but uh, they make at the same, they harm us at the same time. They harm you. They harm very much. The economy fell 100% now. I don't win cents now with them here. But Kos is still full of tourists. Late at night in Bar Street immigration policy isn't an immediate priority. At dawn, the migrants are still asleep as partygoers begin their walk home. Uh, there are people like us, you know, they're just families with the children and young children and you see them on the streets sleeping. Uh, they don't have food, they can eat. Bar workers take out the rubbish, waking up Mayan from Syria. These Syrians want to get their papers and leave for the rest of Greece and Europe. There's only so long you can live next to a rubbish tip. James Reynolds, BBC News, Kos.